Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick tips and tricks video about uh, people that might not know or have lost their router's password and username. It's a question that comes quite regularly. I posted several months ago a video on how to access your router's menu and I told you that every router had its internal menu. Some use an app so some come with this, like you know, an app that you have installed that actually has all the controls but a lot of them don't and do have an internal firmware with a, a menu that you can access to change things and maybe you want to change your Wi-Fi password maybe you want to change the name of your Wi-Fi network maybe you just want to add some um, you know, stuff, for example, maybe you've got an Xbox, maybe you've got some device that doesn't work well unless you change some of the settings within the router. Thing is, for the most part, your router's uh, username and passwords are either default, and a lot of them are admin admin or admin empty password. Uh, I've seen some with admin and password as the username and password. A lot of them, and more and more routers actually today, because they know that the default passwords is a bad idea, have a username and a password that's been assigned at the factory. And usually, if you look at your router, maybe on it or under it or in the box with the router when you purchased it was a little sticker or a little chart that contains that username and password and also the uh, way to access your router so that's one thing you need to look for but what about if you have absolutely nothing okay no no idea what the username and password could be well first I recommend that you go and download the manual from the manufacturers website so for example I will show you with mine I've got a router so for example let's say that I've gone to the routers page which is right here for me I have no idea what to do here. What should I do? Well, I will go into, it says TP-Link, AC1750, wireless router, Archer C7. So what I will do is simply go Google it. So I will say TP-Link, Archer C7, AC750. And you will see that the, of course, you might see some places where you purchase it. But look here, TP-Link.com there's a web page and here you can have manuals so in support on the upper right corner I will have often support for what version of router do I have and I can download the manual or you see you have manual right here Archer C7 and so on and so just make sure that you choose the correct one that you have this will help you understand what are the default username and passwords and also We'll show you one thing, because one of the things that often happens when you don't know your username or your password, it also means that you'll need to reset your router. So most routers, actually every router, has a little reset button. You see here this one that I show you on the picture here is that little reset button on the, uh, this is actually the rear of the router, and you see that there's a little reset button. Some have a little hole where you have to use a little, you know, uh, pinpoint object to actually uh, do it so this is where it happens once you reset every every router has the default username and password once you reset it that's where that manual will be extremely important to get so that's how you'll try to get into your routers menu and change things if you don't know the username and passwords get the manual off of the um, you know manufacturer's website and there's a chance that you might actually need to reset the router to its factory default in order to actually access this a lot of um, routers have preset passwords and usernames so um, if you don't know them that is what you might need to do if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching